Not even on time for our crisis talks. 9.30, we said. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was fixing a shower rail for neck. Didn't see the time. I can't buy me off with some cheap flowers from Devs either. I'm not trying to buy you off, I'm trying to say sorry. Oh, sorry! You've been saying it since we first met. Look, I keep saying it, I know I've messed up. But things are going to be different from now on. What? Different loan shark? I did that for us. Where do you even find someone like that anyway? Because I'm assuming he wasn't in the yellow pages. There's plenty of people out there lending money these days. And do I know him? Of course you don't know him. Anyway, he's out the picture now. I've squared my debt. Are you sure? Yes. And from now on, I won't do anything without talking it through with you first. If you'll still have me, that is. Hi, Alex. You OK? Yeah. Are you worried about Kathy and Brian? Oh, it's okay. Um, I don't know what happened, but I'm not going to say anything. Thanks, Sarah. Have you heard anything from them? Not yet. Well, I'm sure everything will be fine. So, how come we needed to borrow so much money anyway? I thought it would be okay because Rick was Gary's friend. Rick? Are you sure that's his name? Yeah. Got your text. You're leaving because I found out who your loan shark is. I can explain. Rick, the guy that comes round here, sits in this house playing with my son. Yeah, I had no idea. And that. you let me believe that he was working on site with you. I'm sorry. Sorry that you let a dangerous criminal into this house. You've lied to me. You've lied about Rick. You lied about Nicola. It just comes so easy to you, doesn't no, 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 no. it? None of this has been easy for me. I don't care anymore. I don't care, Gary. I'm sick of the lies! Look, you know what? You know what? You've been unfair here. You know, I saved Brian and Kathy today as a complete in for Alex. Yes, because you involved them in the first place. You could have stopped it if you wanted to. No, I couldn't. Why? Because he was threatening you and the kids. And you, you didn't think to tell me. You didn't think to say anything when he sat here and you did nothing. I couldn't risk it, could I? You know, everything I have done, everything, has been to protect you. You've got to understand no, that. No, I don't. I don't have to understand anything. I shouldn't have taken you back after you slept with Nicola. Oh, but you did. You did. Because you love me. <gasps> I know that you still do. Oh, you must think I'm an idiot. You cheat on me. You bring maniac into this house. Do you know, I won't be surprised if you were behind the factory roof. You don't believe that. I don't believe you. I don't believe anything you say. Oh, please, sir. I love you. I love you. We can get through this, No. Can't we? No, we can't. So you take your stuff and you go. And you take that and all. I wish I was. So hang on, this Rick is the same guy that caused Joe to top himself and Gary's brought him in my house? Yes. I don't believe it. And there's me feeling sorry for him as well. I mean, begging me he was to try and get you to change your mind, saying how much he loved you. Did he say that? Huh? Yeah. Oh, well, you've definitely done the right thing and dumped him. It still hurts, though. Can't just turn your feelings off, though. Well, she can, and she will. I'll fix you up with someone. No, I don't want you to fix me up. What about that Dr. Ali? He's a doctor. Obviously. Yeah, he's good looking, him. I'll give him a bell. But hang on, aren't you his auntie or something? Can't you sort someone out? I don't want to go out with Dr. Ali. Dev, then. Dev. Yeah. I don't want to go out with Dev. Will you just leave it? You're not desperate. You're not my pimp. 